Mikael Brooks with Average Joe's Sports Talk, joined by Trent Seaborn, quarterback here for Thompson High School and uh, state champion. And, uh, you know, Trent, uh, obviously last year was had to be a crazy year for you. Is it? Um, you kind of come into the year, people would know who you are and know about what you, you know, did come in here to Thompson, being with Coach Frame and all that. But going out on the field and actually performing the way that you performed last year, I mean, how crazy it was last year for you to experience that and to be playing football on the highest level here as an eighth grade. I mean, it was, it was truly crazy. Um, I was not expecting it, you know, especially um, after the first game of the season, you know. Uh, I went in the fourth quarter and I kind of threw a touchdown on that first drive. And ever since that, in that game, I didn't really know what to expect throughout the season, so I knew I just had to stay prepared and stay ready to go in one of the line up what was called. Talk about coming in, throwing a touchdown in the fourth quarter. What, what was that like for you? Do you remember your emotions going out on the field and what was kind of going on in your head? I mean, I, I didn't believe it. I mean, I was I was 14 at the time. You know, this is my first high school game. Um, and just going in the first time to throw a touchdown, it was absolutely crazy. I mean, our, our, our fans, they, they love it. And they, it was really, really cool. You know, on top of all that, you know, not only are you an eighth grader coming in just to play high school football at the highest level and all that, but you're on TV during those games as well. And then, you know, was that also going through your mind as, you know, not only am I doing this, but I'm, you know, get tell. No, so I, I don't I don't think about, you know, made made tell buys. I try to stay tuned into the game, what the next play is and who I'm going to be reading other defenses. Kind of tell me what it was like coming into this place and kind of learning about, you know, the Thompson standard, you know, what this place has really become over the last couple of years with what y'all have accomplished winning state championships and, you know, just what that was like to walk into this place like that. I mean, them coming off a three P, I mean, you rarely see a high school do that. And um uh my family has known Coach Freeman for quite a while and we know his values and and also what kind of office he runs and it, it really fits me and um it really helps me to learn his uh his offense easier. You know, obviously, it's been Thompson and Hoover uh, has been the big rivalry. What, what was it like experiencing that? You know, especially the first game that y'all played against them last year. That was a, that was a pretty cool theater experience. I mean, um, I've never you know been to such a heated rivalry before. Uh, it was definitely a great game both times. The first and second game, and to experience that was a really amazing feeling. When you look at you know last season, at what point do you feel like for yourself that you really started to get comfortable and and you know? Kind of take control of the offense, take control of the team the way that you kind of look like you really did, especially in the postseason. Um, I think towards the middle and end of the season, when I started to get in a little bit more, I was starting to feel the um, the groove to how fast the high school game was played. You know, it's not like youth football. Um, it's definitely a lot faster. I think towards that time of the year is when I really started to get used to that thing. One of the things Coach Freeman bragged on you about was, you know, coming over, you'd be the last one to eat pre main meal, you know, being an eighth grader, and they, you know, y'all do it by grade and everything. And, then obviously, you know, you coming in and having to create a relationship with the other quarterbacks and it'd be easy for them to look down on you and, not, you know, talk about how they were accepting of you last year and then also how that kind of translated to you handling things is the way that you were able to. So before I actually moved here, um, my family would actually come out to visit. And I mean, I, when I was younger, I'd get training sessions with each of these quarterbacks, you know, Talia, Sawyer, Connor, Zach, um, and really training with them. You know, they really took me under their wings, especially Zach. Um, I mean, he's like my best friend and we, we knew everything together. And I feel that relationship really helped strengthen the entire team overall throughout the whole season. You guys start 0-2 last year, obviously, and, you know, kind of talk about what the mindset was during that time to then you guys obviously going on the run that you guys were able to go on and not really looking back. I think that that 0-2 star was something that, that God had in plan, and um, doing that helped us come together as a team. It helped us create that bond even more to really pick it up the rest of the way in the season. Is that something you guys are talking about going in now to this season is, you know, hey, we know it didn't start out the way we wanted to last year. Is getting off to a good start kind of a focal point for this group? Yes, sir. So we we know we have to we have to start off really well. Um, but really overall, it's up to God what he wants, what he wants us for, for us. What's the pressure like of playing at a place like Thompson now where, you know, there is an expectation to win games, not only win, but, you know, really dominate on Friday. Night. I mean, there is that expectation, but. Coach Sherman always talks about how we can't create pressure for ourselves. Um, that's really just a mental thing and just a state of mind. And really, we just have to, you know, be calm and not create that kind of tension in ourselves because when we do that, we get a nice break. You know, one of the things that I've been impressed about with Coach Freeman and watching him over the years and seeing how he handles things is he's great X and O coach, obviously. But the way that he kind of talks about the mental game and, and kind of helps guys with their mentality and all that, I mean, how important is that for a team like this that is dealing with a lot of the pressures that, you know, we just talked about? Yeah, I mean, he, he knows his offense and stuff. He knows he knows how defense plays, but his his philosophy, too, is really a big part of him. 
I mean, he, he's always talking about how we have to stay mentally ready, mentally prepared. And uh, I think that's really important for a football player. You're a man of many talents. You know, obviously you throw the football really well, but you do a lot of stuff off the football field that, that you're really good at as well, playing instruments, doing that type of stuff. What got you into playing the instruments and, and doing that? And then also, how does that translate to you, you know, understanding the playbook, having a read in music and do all that through the years? So I, um, I started off playing the uh, alto saxophone in uh, third grade. This is back in Colorado. And then we moved out here and I switched to the marital saxophone. And uh, I really had a, like a passion for music. Um, I really love to listen to it. I love to play it, you know, performative band and stuff like that. And um, the translation of music to football is a little bit similar. I mean, um, while you're reading your, your music and your sheets, you're also having to watch the conductor at the same time. And it's kind of like reading the defense and, and receiving the play calls from the coach and knowing how to read it and what to look for. Last year, you know, playing at Durden Hare Stadium, uh, what was that like for you? You know, you had obviously played during the year. You played against Hoover at the Met, done all that. But walking out in the Jordan Hare Stadium, being in a state championship setting, what was it like for you, especially early in that ball game last year? It, it was pretty surreal. I mean, I didn't believe it was happening, but I really put those feelings aside and focused on the actual game and what the game plan was and what we had to do to win the game. At what point did it really kind of hit you, you know, the the way that you play in that state championship game? Um, I think after maybe the first or second touchdown, I really thought, wow, I actually am doing this. And, you know, I really couldn't have done it without the rest of my team. You know, they were they're a big part of why we wanted it would be really wizard to me. What was your favorite pass that you had in the state championship last year? I think probably my favorite one was uh, we were going, uh, I don't know which direction we were going, but uh, I did take a drop back and I threw it to Corbin, who um, had four like, five touchdown passes. And as soon as I as soon as I threw, I got crushed from the blast side, and and it was just such a perfect right in his in his bucket. He ran the the perfect route to beat the defender and caught it for a score. You know, um, having now experienced all that and coming into this year, how do you now handle going from being the unknown guy to now you know knowing that people are going to be watching you every single Friday night and you are going to be under a microscope with a lot of people, and not only for this year, but, you know, you got three years after this year as well. Boy, I still try to act the same as I've always been acting, you know, just, just trying to say, oh, we'll, like, give glory to God. Um, also, you know, we have a new team, and I think we have high expectations for this team, and I think we're going to do really well this season. Talking about some of the new guys that are going to have to step up now and replace, you know, some of the guys that graduated from last year were obviously big time players. And, you know, what's really impressed you about the guys that are stepping into those roles now with this year's team? That I'm, they're definitely guys. So we are our old line graduating. That they're definitely guys this year that have stepped up and, and let that a lot. And I, I really, really have um, gratitude for that. Also, our receiving core, we have some young guys, but, you know, our, our veterans are helping those young guys to learn the plays, learn the playbook, and really get better. And then also on the defensive side, I think I think we're always going to be good defense. I mean, we've always got players. We've got a great defensive coordinator, and I think we're always going to be good over there. We saw you out there doing seven-on-sevens right there at the end of practice. And, you know, how big is that that you're able to do that type of stuff during the summer? How much does that help with the chemistry going into a season and, you know, being able to not only just do seven-on-seven against your team, but then the competitions y'all go to, going to camps at Auburn, Alabama, Sanford, you know, all the different places y'all go to. I really think seven-on-seven is good for us as a team because, you know, we are going against the top D1 defense. Um, and it also develops a chemistry between me and our receivers and also and also developing new plays for our playbook and how to uh, be different defenses. Going into the year, you know, we talked about obviously the focus being getting off to a better start and things like that. I mean, how important is game one? You're going to be on the biggest stage in the whole entire state, being at the Crampton Bowl, playing in the Champions Challenge. You know, how important is it to go with kind of reestablish, you know, hey, we're still a top 10 year. Yeah, I, think, I think that's a really, uh, really important thing for us to um, go out there and to really uh, win that game. You know, that'll be a great uh, step stool for us for the rest of the season. Awesome, man. Listen, really appreciate you taking time to sit down with us. Uh, congratulations on all that you've accomplished so far. And really looking forward to seeing you continue to grow here and continuing to see what you become here at Tom Isaac. Thank you so much.